it is back with another video right now uh something that's been on my mind i've done a video about it before but it was a while back but it's really for the new truckers the new drivers coming into the trucking industry you know i went through driver solutions a lot of people are going to go through driver solutions driver solutions sets you up with the C1 truck driving school so you can get your CDL and then they set you up with a company so that you can start your trucking career. Now, uh, the trucking career or the trucking company that I went through was Pam. Right. I'm just speaking really on all of the comments that I read from previous drivers of Pam. Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess this would be more so my opinion, but still, my, my opinion probably matters to some people. So I'm gonna speak it. So, as I said, I went through Pam. Uh, I was there for a year and a month. So I started January, 2016. I left January, 2017 at the end of the month. All right, so. My experience was good. I can't speak on really anybody else's, but what I can do is speak on the fact that your experience is gonna be what you make it. Don't go off of everybody's opinion, especially the negative ones. You don't know what's gonna be negative for you until you actually experience your entire time wherever you go. Not just Pam, but wherever you go. But Today, I'm speaking on Pam because that's where I was. Um, as I said in previous a uh, previous video before, I went through Pam. I was driving with with uh, my teammate for three months. That third month, I decided I wanted some more money. What did I do? I decided to become a trainer. I always told my trainer, "No, training's not for me. I'm not going to do it. I don't see how you do it." And he told me, Glenn, Glenn, man, I'm telling you, you should become a trainer, man. You, you're a good driver. You should train people. Plus, there's a lot more money in it for you. I said, no. I told him that for, for two and a half straight months, including the two weeks that I was on his truck. So two and a half straight months, I told him, I am not training. I'm not going to become a trainer. What did I do? Yep. I decided to become a trainer. I ate my own words. He gave me that speech, I told you so. Yeah, I didn't want to hear it, but I did. Because he was right. I became a trainer. So with that being said, with me becoming a trainer, I ran through, I can't remember, remember exactly how many students I had, but 98% of them, because two got off of the truck, and those are for undisclosed reasons, not with me, but with them. So, two of them got out of, off of the truck. The other, maybe 10 or 12, they will all tell you, they will all speak, oh, he was a good trainer. You know, I made their experience the best that I could. I kept the truck clean. And I made it as easy as I could for them as possible. But when I needed to be hard on, I was hard on them. Because you have to keep in mind, eventually you're going to be out there by yourself. So if I don't teach you the right way and you're not receiving it the right way, you're going to go out there by yourself and you're going to mess up the wrong way. Or you're going to mess up, possibly hurt somebody, possibly hurt yourself, possibly cost yourself your job, possibly get this type of ticket, that type of ticket, anything. Anything that is would neg negatively impact you, I feel like that would be on me if I didn't train the right way. So that's what I did. I trained the right way. And like I said, any of them will tell you, I was the best that I could be at my job. Or the best that I can, you know, try to be. But back to you going to whatever company you're going to, and specifically me speaking on for Pam's behalf, 
do the, the, the experience is only what you make it. Don't let somebody else's negative comments, negative experience impact yours. You gotta go see for yourself. That's the only way you can make it out here. You gotta see for yourself. My experience, like I said, was great. Now, everything wasn't 100% all the time. Oh yeah, this is the best thing ever. No, no. Guess what? It's your first year in trucking. When you get started, it's going to be rough patches. There's, there's no way around that. There are going to be rough times and you have to learn how to deal with it. The key number one thing that I have always said was be patient because patience is your key in this industry. No matter where you go, no matter how long you've been in the industry and no matter how long you will be in the industry, patience is the number one thing. But don't let someone else's negative impact impact you. Because that's not the way it works out here. Go to Pam. I'm speaking on Pam. And I'm, I'm not just saying this. I'm not just saying this because they have my face on a Facebook ad. Guess what? I'm not getting paid for that. I gave them permission to do that. That was out of the kindness of me. I gave them permission to use my face and continue to use my face. That's what it was. And that's what it, that's what it will be. It's, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not looking to thrive off of them using a positive person that was in their company to get other people to go. It just, it, it, that's, that's what the truth was. I had a good experience. I was a good employee there. They felt that and they wanted to continue on with trying to get other people to come to their company based off of positive things. The whole thing, the whole, the whole key is to stay positive. If you are a negative person, you are going to receive negative energy. Simple as that. That's what's going to happen. So once again, don't let someone else's negative experiences don't let those negative comments that you see, that you read, discourage you from doing something that is going to benefit you possibly in the end. You won't know how it's going to be unless you go find out on your own. Anybody can tell you, oh, my, my time with Pam was terrible. My time, uh, they didn't pay me anything. I didn't get any miles. Well, you got to start thinking about stuff because there's a lot of factors to that. Let's just talk about the miles thing. If you didn't get any miles, think about the drivers that don't get up on time. Because remember, when you become a truck driver, you become independent. Meaning, there's nobody standing over your shoulder. Mommy and daddy can't wake you up to go to school in the morning. I'm just giving examples. You don't have a supervisor sitting next to you or coming to you saying, hey, we need you to improve in this area. Or No, nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to baby you in this trucking industry. So, with that being said, people that are getting no miles, you should ask them questions like this. Well, how many times out of 10 were you actually on time for a load? Maybe about 60% of them are gonna say, oh, I made it to about three loads on time and then make an excuse for the other seven loads that they did of why they weren't on time. Now, one thing I can say, things are gonna happen. Breakdowns are going to happen with the truck. Tires are going to be blown. There are going to be other factors that contribute to you being late. But you have to think in the future ahead of time. Is there something that I can do to prevent me from possibly being late if one of these factors do happen? Yes, there is. You can leave out early. That's what you can do. You can you can leave and say, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna arrive at this place where I need to deliver or where I need to pick up four hours early. At the time that I leave out, I'm gonna leave to where if when I if I arrive at the time I should, I'm gonna be four hours early. Let's say you have no problems, you make it there four hours early. What's the problem? What what's the, what's the harm in that? Okay, you're four hours early. Early is better than being late, right? Your company's already looking at you in a positive way. If you leave out and you and if you get there on the time that you say you would have and you would have been four hours early and you have a breakdown, you have a blown tire, 
That's what it takes if you're out on the road. It may take them about two hours to get to you. Let's say it does take them two hours to get to you. They change the tire in about 45 minutes, so you got two hours and 45 minutes that you've been sitting on the side of the road. You still got time to get there on time because you were proactive in leaving out early to make sure that you would be there on time in case something happens. That's just one way to look at it. That's what I do. I leave out early. I, I have always left out early. Now, I'm not going to lie and say that I haven't had times where I'm just like, oh, I just need a little bit more sleep. And I, I start calculating stuff on how I can leave at the latest time possible. At that time, you are pushing it. You are pushing it. I have pushed the limit. Doesn't mean I was late. I have pushed the limit though. I have never been late on the account of me leaving out late. That's one thing I have never done. I have been late on the account of the truck breaking down though. There's nothing I can do about that. Learn to do things to prevent a negative outcome in the end. Once again, don't let negative comments impact your progress that you're trying to make because you got to start somewhere whether it be pam whether it be prime whether it be cr england whether it be crst whether it be kb whether i could go down the list of companies that will give you a starting chance but your experience with any one of those companies is only going to be what you make it out to be stop letting others impact your decision of what you need to do for yourself that's just what it is this industry is an independent industry you are an independent person once you're in that truck by yourself even if you got a teammate both of you are independent you can't rely on the other person to do something that you should have been doing it's not how it works everybody is their own person everybody has their own responsibility so if you're going to Pam block out the negative only look towards making your experience positive for what you can make it it's not hard it's not hard at all be on time be courteous have positive energy when you go in there and there's not a person in Pam who will steer you away from those three characteristics because if you come in there with that type of energy they're going to give it right back to you. That's how it is. That's really how any job is. You come in with negative energy, guess what? You're going to get negative energy back. You get hired for a reason. People don't hire you just because. They hire you for a reason. This is Glenn. <laughs> uh, another short video. Just speaking, like I said, I'm just speaking on my opinion about it, on my experiences. If you got any questions, feel free to comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, I'm not, I'm not perfect at what I do, but I do have a lot of helpful advice for if you're just starting out. So, subscribe to the channel, and I'm out.